Okay, so my first time at camp, me and my, was it, they had different age groups that were supposed to come at different times. So the first week it was more or less, so I can't remember. I don't think I had a cabin maybe the first time I went. I don't, it was a really long time ago, folks. Oh, I forgot to introduce the video. <laughs> oh, I'm not retaking this because this will be hilarious. Okay, so welcome to Cass Lee Productions. I'm Lee, this is Cass, because I don't have my stand in Cass, so this is Cass. Say hi again. I have had her say hi in another video, which I have not posted yet. I will post it soon, I promise. As long as I don't have to refilm the whole entire thing. Because, me. Okay, so, I just wanted to jump right in because I love this topic. <gasps> okay, so, composure. The next thing, I'm so, first time at camp, right? Okay, you don't need to watch the part one video. Probably. Unless things don't make sense, I have no guarantees. <gasps> okay, moving on as you do. Do, 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 do. I am such a strange child. Okay, I say that a lot. I gotta find a different filler word once again. Almost said that word again. Oh, mm, 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 mm. so first time at camp, I was trying to get rid of using that word. It's fine, it's fine. We, um, again, I couldn't remember which, but I remember for a while I would stay with my mom in the cabin. She would work in the kitchen. She'd volunteer in the kitchens while we were there because it was her old place where she has to work. A lot of nostalgia there for her. So, um, I made a lot of friends that, that, that year. I made homes, made friends, uh, with the owner's kids there. At least I'm pretty sure they were the owner kids. It might have been just been the technically priest kids that, work there because he read worship uh, occasionally so yeah that was never really clear I got to go in their house that was cool and stuff I had fun hanging out with them and then I also had this younger girl I hanged out with I can't remember her name for the life of me <laughs> but what is it the arts and crafts I was trying to get into this last time but then you saw the whole if you go back you'll see the whole entire tragedy that happened and I got way off topic from where I was supposed to be like I usually do because that's how my mind works it jumps and then I come back and then sometimes people are lost but my friends can co come up you know keep up with me and that's important and my hair looks weird it's because I washed it and it's still dry because I air dry my hair okay so <sighs> use both of them at the same time I'm, I'm trying to stop using okay and so because I say them a lot in the videos and I notice and it annoys me <laughs> um there was also another girl there I made friends with, and her dad checked the cabins, because you have to keep your cabins nice and tidy, and they'd have a contest, and whoever lost had to take out what we called the... I can't... It's pretty much just a yuck bucket. Um, we would pour all of the things that we didn't drink into this one bucket, and some people would pour their cereal in there, too, too because it had liquid in it, so it was supposed to go in there, and the losing cabin would have to go off. Some of the guys' cabins would purposely try to lose. I got way off topic again, but we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> this is gonna be so many darn videos. <laughs> I apologize. Um, which, because they'd win and they go, oh yeah! And you're like, I don't know why you would want to, but good for you guys as long as not me taking it out i think my cabin had to take it out like once which wasn't horrible but my cabin usually won most of the time yes though honestly the girls didn't usually when it was usually the lose it was usually the guys and like i said some of them did it on purpose they're like tried to make their cabin disgusting as possible i just was probably in the rest of some fun in that i think um i don't get it myself someone would have to explain it to me um i also hanged out i'm still off topic i was talking about the arts and crafts well what happened is you know those like salt things where you do the layers and their colors and you can use the sticks to make patterns <sighs> i wish i knew what they were called i hope i'm doing the description justice because it's like you color salt with um chalk was what we did and then you rub it the salt you know and then you go and you take that layer of salt and you dump it in the bottle and they specifically told us not to shake the bottle, but as a first grader and as a young child, when you're told not to do something, 
it really, really, really makes me want to do it. Plus, I was kind of really interested to see why they told me not to shake the bottle. So I took out the bottle and I was like, I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna see what happens when I shake this bottle. And so I shake it furiously as I can, like, and I look at it and I go, ooh, it's pretty. Because we weren't supposed to shake it because it ruined the pattern and it mixed all the salt together. All the colors kind of blended into one in mine, actually, and it ended up being mostly a purplish color with a flex of blue in it or something like that, if I remember right. I'd put, like, pink, blue, green, and a few other colors in there, but you could only see a select few because I decided I had to figure out why they told me not to shake this small container. <laughs> I still have that jar in my house, too. Um, I also forgot to add another part, um, to the songs that I wanted to talk about, was that, um, my counselor, well, actually taught us a few songs to go walking around, um, the campus, and, uh, she'd be, she taught us the whooping cough song, you know, he whooped and he whooped his head right off, and brown square, brown square, shake your bushy tail, uh-huh, that song and we do it in different voices that was very entertaining as a child <laughs> still is i'm very childlike just so you you haven't noticed <laughs> no, i'm not sure you can notice by just like two videos but some people are really perceptive we'll just go with that mm -hmm. yeah we'll go with that <laughs> um so that was fun I have a lot of memories there, man. And we'd play games and stuff like that. It was really the best place, honestly. I loved it so much, especially since I loved nature as a child. <sighs> okay. Moving on. Okay, so let's see what's here on this outline I made. Um, let's see, we already talked about that. Sort of. We're just going to cross it off. Um. Oh yeah, I, would, I was talking about how I'd stay with my mom in the cabin. Either way, that wasn't really important. I can't really think of much there. I made a giant list of stuff, so I'm trying not to um, over-talk myself. There was a boy there that I ended up becoming friends with. I can't remember his name, but I have a picture with him. And I remember I really enjoyed hanging out with him. We would do tricks on the swing, and I mean, like, we'd hang upside down. We kind of made a whole entire circus out of just swing sets, and it was awesome until one of us fell and scraped our knee. I can't remember which one of us did it. I just remember we got in trouble because we were told not to, and I think one of us hit our head, too. I'm pretty sure both of us ended up injuring ourselves, but I could be wrong. And then after that, we never did it again. As children do. Um, but it was funny because I told them I could beatbox. Because uh, this happened because I was watching the electric company at my dad's house. And they had beatboxing battles and stuff on that. You know. And so I told them I could beatbox. And he said, that's cool. So he made me, well, was it, I agreed to, I also sh showed him how if I put my hair back, as a younger child, if I put my hair back, I would look like a guy to most people. <laughs> So we put my hood up and I would go around beatboxing <laughs> and try to get mistaken for a boy. I don't know why we did this, but we did. <laughs> and I don't know why I remember that still. I just remember I would go around with this and going, <laughs> you know, and it was like, I can't believe the younger me, honestly, to some degree. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Another thing that happens was the first time I was at camp, um, my mom had gotten me a disposal camera to take pictures with because pictures are a big thing in my family. Um, I mean, my dad was a photographer, so it kind of runs in my veins to take pictures. I'm the person you take on a trip who takes a picture practically every 10 to 15 seconds and it annoys the crap out of people. I did not mean to say that word, but it really does. They're like, Come on, we just want to move it around. Like, just five more seconds. It's beautiful. <laughs> Not the point of this story again. Um, well, either way, it ended up, I ended up losing it. And I ended up find, founding it buried in the sand in the playground. And I didn't put it there. Someone had found my camera and instead of turning it into someone, had buried it in the sand. And when I found it, it had my name on it. I was like, well, who... What kind of meanie would bury someone else's camera in the sand? And of course it didn't work after that either. 
And so I was like really, really upset. And the thing is, what this was a disposable one. And for you who may not know, disposable camels work on film. And until you get them processed, you have no way of viewing the pictures. So this other kid, um, this boy ends up coming over and he tells me that that, ca that camera is his. And I go, no, it's mine. It has my name on it because my mom had wrote my name on my camera. So no one would steal it. And he goes, well, that's my name too. And I'm like, your name's Lilu. And he's like, yeah, my name's Lilu. I'm like, I don't remember hearing another Lilu's name being called when we were like told to go in our cabins because they call out our names and everything else. And I'm like, and my name, as far as I know, not a lot of people actually share my name. I have learned from my psychology teacher, three other people have my name, though it's all spelled differently. So the fact that someone had my name was spelled the correct way even today I find slightly sketchy but I still doubt myself every now and then on that camera thing I end up getting it back I still don't know if it's mine I haven't developed the pictures from it because that's the only true way to tell I think I'm slightly terrified that I was wrong but I don't think I was because I'm pretty sure that was my mom's handwriting on my camera and since Ed sanded it didn't work anymore I was really upset and plus why would you try to claim someone else's disposal camera as yours it's like they took those pictures why would you want them? <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed weird to me. I also um, brought this other camera with me um, that my, my that was being advertised on TV for the longest of time. The ones that you could drop and like, they were, I don't know. They're like kid cameras. They had games on them. You could drop them and they're supposed to be like unbreakable or whatever. Well, apparently I don't learn from having my camera buried in a sandbox and not working because I brought that camera in the sandbox, got sand in all the buttons, and had to slowly unstuck, unstick them under, over the years, and it still doesn't work quite like it's supposed to. So, <laughs> A plus for not learning from my mistakes. So, technically, I wasn't the one who buried that camera in the sand, but in hindsight, I should have realized that cameras and sand don't mix, and this is why my dad no longer buys me cameras. <laughs> it, it's fair. It's fair. I really do gotta get... I have been better with cameras. I don't... I'm not so reckless anymore. I usually keep them attached to my wrist so they can't fall off. I, I've done everything my dad's telling me since then, and I don't enter sandboxes with cameras anymore. And yes, I still play in the sandboxes. <laughs> in case you didn't know. Mm -hmm. I, I'm proud to say I play in sandboxes. They're fun. Who doesn't play in the beach? I mean, come on! It's sand! Okay. Um, I'm gonna end the video here because again if I go another spiel it will be an even longer video. I'm happy I'm keeping these short. Okay, it's a goal of my life and I'm hitting it and it is rocking. New Year's resolutions are kind of working for me right now. One of them was to keep these shorter. Woohoo! Yeah, mm hmm I'm gonna regret posting this on the internet. <laughs> I'm so gonna regret. <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe. Do the whole shebang. I'm here to make you laugh because that's what I like doing. And I'm weird. Why not share it with the world? Because strangeness entertains people. Whether they're making fun of you or not. And honestly, as long as I'm brightening your day, I simply, I simply do not care. Okay. So that's it for this video. There will be another part to this because I've only crossed off three things from my list and I assure you there is over 10 on this list. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be here a while. <laughs> Bye, have a good day or afternoon or whatever time it is.